it's a little paradise and it's a mixture between let's say a Jewish cemetery which is only of stones, we have the stones here and then the German with the trees but here we have palm trees, we have orange, orange trees which you don't find in Germany. And so it's a mixture between a cemetery in Jerusalem where I lived, used to live some time and a German cemetery and within look this is a it's full of marble, it's full of stone, but it's a little paradise. You can see it very well from the top of St. Peter's Square, a little green spot. It is a piece of heaven. This was the center of the Circus of Nero, Emperor Nero. And most probably Peter was killed right here. But there's no doubt about that the first Christians have been killed right here. All of these graves, they, they, they contain, I wouldn't say a thousand, but many, many, many writers. Here's a colleague of mine, Erich Kusch, writers, nobles, priests, pa um, members of the current fraternity, nobody else. I had a friend called Willy. He was a neighbor, but he, was, he lived in the street, underneath our windows. He was poor and immensely rich. He never asked for anything. He had a vocation. He wanted to convert people like him. But he came there voluntarily. I mean, most of the people uh, around him, they had no other chance. He had, had many chances to get off the street, but he wanted to be with them. When I found out that he died, I just could not imagine that he disappeared as if he would never been existed here in Rome. He was part of Rome, so I wanted to have him here in Rome. And it was divine providence that four days before he died, I became a member of the Arch Fraternity. And then I asked the rector of the Arch Fraternity, look, I have a pilgrim here, he was Flemish. Wouldn't he be the right person to be buried here? Willy was the very least of society in Rome, and now he's become very, uh, he's been buried on the most prominent ground you can find in Rome. Between kings and queens and, and he, he was a noble of the, a nobleman of the street. Now he uh, has found a noble ground to be buried. <laughs>